So I picked up two 10 horsepower uh, Yonmore diesel fire pumps. Actually, uh, they're non they're not Chinese uh, brand knockoffs. They're actual fire um, Yamars. Um, I don't really have I didn't have much use for the uh, the fire pump as you can see. I, I took it off and put it on a, a new engine, a gas engine. Um, right now, this one I got the uh, cooling shroud off of, and the flywheel is actually in uh, my freezer. Uh, you might wonder why. <laughs> The reason it's in my freezer right now is because I'm putting an electric start kit on it, um, which requires to put the ring gear on. You you put it in the freezer, it just helps with the process, and then you heat up the ring gear with a blowtorch or something, not too much heat, and uh, you can usually tap it on with a hammer then. Uh, I did have one question. I don't know if anybody can answer this for me, but on the exhaust here, there's this valve. You can open and close the exhaust and it vents out through here instead my other one's running outside right now I'll go out there and and show you um, also this hose that's on the pump it actually feeds from the back of this thing on the exhaust so I guess when this is closed it feeds air it vents it out through the bottom of this tube and then it also goes into the pump not really sure why that is. I um, appreciate any input I could get on that. But uh, now I'll go out. I'm going to open up the door and we'll see uh, the running one. <laughs> there she is. Yep. I just realized my brightness is up on my uh, camera a lot, so sorry about that. Yep. That's it. Got a uh, really big inlet, not a big outlet, inlet, like three or three and a half inches. Um, here's that tube I was talking about, one from here, then there's another valve here, and it goes into, into the exhaust here. Right now it's open, but watch when I close it. Now there's nothing coming out here, it's actually coming out down here now, as well as going in this tube. Now I, I guess it allows water in the exhaust somehow, I, I'm really not sure. So I, I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure why that is. I'll go ahead and run it up. it. Uh, hopefully I'll put an electric start on this one too. I'm actually putting the engines in uh, two garden tractors I have. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, not really much else uh, I guess I could tell you other than uh, uh, I guess I'll show you. On here it actually kind of works out pretty well because even though this is you know a, a throttle that you can lock there's actually this right here for a cable to come in and pull on this and this is spring loaded so it actually uh, works pretty well I'm going to do away with the fuel tank yeah, it's not really a big deal especially you know since these diesels get such um, good fuel mileage and fuel consumption and everything but it just it always kind of annoyed me when people uh, repower equipment with uh, engines you know Yamars or uh, the Chinese ones um, and they leave the the gas tank on it, it always just kind of bothered me because it looked you know the gas tank and the filter you could kind of get away with a little bit but uh, personally I want to set it up so there's a whole different filter system it, it shouldn't be too hard to do um, and and use the stock gas tank and and set up a different exhaust system just because and, uh, it just always irritated me because you know people it would look just like this people pull it out and drop it in but it doesn't really look, you know, like it should be there. And I'm kind of a firm believer in the fact that, you know, you're supposed to make it look original as much as you can. 
as well as, you know, if you can keep the tractor as original as you can, um, with the exception of this engine, but then again, with the, with the ethanol and all the crap they've been putting in the gas, you know, I'd rather, I'd rather, uh, stick with the diesels. You know, they're starting to put sulfur and crap in them now, too, and, or, I'm sorry, ultra-low sulfur diesel, all that crap, or whatever they're doing with them, I don't even know. <laughs> but, yeah. Okay. Well, I'll give you an update when, uh, when I put, you know, start putting them in stuff, or with whatever happens. Hell, maybe I'll make a video of me putting the electric start kit on them. They're a real good deal. If you have an engine like this, 10 horsepower, or the, uh, Chinese knockoff ones, um, it's, like, it's under 200 bucks. I think it was 180 bucks. You get the starter, you get a stator, you get um, the voltage regulator, you get the ring gear, and all that. And it's under 180 bucks. So, if you, or I'm sorry, it's about 180 bucks. If you just go on eBay and you type in, uh, this engine here is actually a, um, I believe it's an L100, a Yamar L100. That's why I typed in Yamar L100 uh, electric start kit or whatever. I found it on eBay, a place right in the U.S. Um, it should be here any, any day now. So yeah, uh, they said they work with the Chinese ones uh, as well that are comparable to this. They, they had the numbers on there. I don't remember what they were. Um, and also, speaking of the Chinese knockoffs, I've really, to be honest with you, I, I haven't heard anything too bad about them. You know, here and there I've heard a couple loose bolts, you know, Every once in a while, you'll hear somebody that has a, a major failure or something like that. But other than that, you know, I, I really, and when I say knockoff, I don't mean to say it, you know, to degrade it or anything. But, you know, it's <laughs> it's a copy of this, so it is a knockoff. But but I've, I've heard some pretty good things about them, and I heard a decent amount of parts are interchangeable. So, yep, uh, I, I got a good deal on these, so that's why I got these, or I probably would have ended up with a knockoff. Uh, I picked them both up for $200. So, okay. Uh, like I said, I'll give you an update probably on uh, how to how the kit goes on all that stuff. So, okay.